good morning, everybody. Um, delight to have this opportunity to uh, make this announcement today, and uh, I, while well, I a chilly day, and, and uh, you know, not without our challenges in this community at the moment, I think we we can't uh, we can't let that uh, diminish the kind of the success that we are seeing here. And uh, I think it's really important to celebrate and maybe talk a little bit today about. Uh, why we're here and the success that's been realized uh, at this particular uh, facility uh, as a melamine plant and also as an NDF uh, operation. Mid-1990s and uh, a group rallied together, uh, we, people were pulled together uh, to attract both GP and, and Flakeport and the venture. The company set up the facility that we're here on a baseline to manufacture MDF. It proved successful for all parties involved and in particular the community in general. During his first year of operating the Flakeboard Complex Manufacturer uh, uh, MDF, uh, uh, some of which is transported to the facility in Southern Ontario to be laminated and used for moldings, cabinets, and other finished products. Seeing an opportunity, the EDC then uh, formed a bit of a business case to have Flakeboard expand its local operation and do the lamination uh, right here in Sault Ste. Marie. And with that business case in hand, the EDC approached the Northern Ontario Heritage Fund, FedNor and the Community Development Corporation, and these funding agencies, and I say, I would say more, more importantly, these community organizations, along with the city, and, and in no small measure, all stepped up to support this expansion. With the support of all levels of government, Flake Board added a melamine lamination plant to Sault Ste. Marie in 2004. A rail spur was also built to enable the finished product to be efficiently transported direct to markets across the continent. And for the past decade, Flakeboard, which was purchased by the Chilean-based Aruco in 2012, has been making monthly payments to the EDC under a lease-to-own agreement. The final payment was recently made, uh, or is in the process of being finalized, I guess I should say, and Aruco is now purchasing the facility, and hence the reason we're here today. Thank you very much, Tom. It's uh, great to be here today. To, uh, for the, this very important announcement, and uh, particularly the importance of uh, you know, underlining and highlighting that when we work together, we can do anything. And uh, as Tom had mentioned, I've been involved in uh, uh, economic and uh, development, both private and public sector. So I've seen uh, this particular site uh, develop over uh, the time from my work when I was at the Economic Development Corporation, when I was at Northern Development Mines. And, and uh, it continues to amaze me uh, how innovative, creative, and, and how well, they worked together in, in, in moving forward. Um, back in 2004, uh, the federal government, uh, then Prime Minister Paul Martin, uh, had agreed through Fed and our industry Canada to uh, uh, for a million dollars in funding, five hundred thousand dollars for the rail spur that was much needed, and uh, five hundred thousand uh, through the software uh, lumber uh, fund. And that fund was there because, uh, as we all recall. Back then, South of Lumber was uh, a very uh, uh, important issue, and you know the federal government saw the need to uh, put resources and a plan together uh, in order for uh, businesses to be able to uh, stabilize, to be able to uh, get stronger and grow. So uh, you know it's that kind of thinking that uh, was needed then, is needed today. So we'll continue to uh, you know, support developments like this. So congratulations, and uh, I do have a little plaque here. Um, you know, before we go, uh, I'll present to uh, Mike, if you don't mind. Good morning, everyone. Great to be here with you. I, uh, you know, this is such a successful, momentous occasion uh, for Arelco and uh, all of the work that the employees have done to date to get us here and all of the management have done. Uh, what a great success story in Sault Ste. Marie. We should be celebrating it and that's why uh, we're here today. Who would think that a plant would close down in Mississauga, move to Sault Ste. Marie, enjoy better border crossing times, the longevity of committed, dedicated employees that, that uh, build their skills and help to improve the efficiency in uh, the mill uh, year over year over year for a long period of time. And I know many of you have been here since since day one, and that's a testament to the organization and to your commitment uh, as employees. And so we're very grateful in Sault Ste. Marie for the investment here uh, that the company has made, 
And obviously there's been partnerships uh, with the federal government, with the city. Uh, Mr. Mayor, it's good to see you here as well, and, and uh, MP Sheehan, uh, and as well, uh, Mayor Lamings here. So that's fantastic to have everyone here. I uh, really appreciate the opportunity to speak to you. I'd like to acknowledge and thank our Member of Parliament, Terry Sheehan, for attending with us, and the Honourable Minister David Rossetti for joining us this morning. I'd like to also acknowledge Mr. Rosso and Mr. Hotchkiss. On behalf of the City of Sault Ste. Marie, the Office of the Mayor and City Council, I'd like to thank all involved who have helped us arrive at today's milestone. First and foremost, though, I'd like to congratulate Aruco and its employees for their role in making this facility a success. It has principally been your efforts that have brought us to this point. Aruco, thank you for believing in our community. To our colleagues at FedNor, Community Development, Northern Heritage Fund, the City of Sault Ste. Marie, thank you for your support and for believing in this project. After all these years, I think we can all agree that this has been nothing short of a complete and resounding success. Good morning. Just like your home, it's nice to get your mortgage behind you. <laughs> we have a we have a vision that we've lived to for a number of years. It's called continual progress. So for our staff, here's some guidance for you. Don't speak last after this group. <laughs> um, I'd like to start by expressing our sincere appreciation for all of you coming out today and joining us for this event. I'd also like to thank the previous speakers for all the kind words and comments for our Sioux team and our company. Your support over the years has been very important to our story. Our story is really one of relationships, cooperation, and commitment. I'll take you a little bit back to talk about our story. Back in the 90s, Flake Board engaged with Georgia Pacific to pursue a dream. And the dream was to build the largest MDF plant in the world at the time. But where do you build that plant? Sault Ste. Marie quickly became to the forefront. Location to the customers, location to raw material, certainly were key factors. But the support for infrastructure, the rail line, training, were significant, significant part of the decision making. The welcoming to the community was second to none. The relationships, the cooperation, and the commitment offered by all levels of government helped convince the joint venture to invest in this community. Um, I've been fortunate enough to have been part of this great organization for over 20 years, and I'm very, very proud of what we've accomplished. Uh, as noted earlier, manufacturing in Canada and in our community has been faced with many challenges over the years, with several closures resulting in significant negative impacts to several families. It is difficult to remain competitive in a high-cost environment. Fortunately, we have leaders within our organization and government that understand what it takes to remain competitive. Businesses need to continue to be innovative and not be satisfied with the status quo. Standing still is not an option. One way is to take our product and add value that will in turn improve our margins. In our case, this was this facility right here. There's no doubt without the participation and cooperation of all levels of government, this would not have been a successful venture. 